So being Sikh, um, Gurnan Devji, the, the, the founder of Sikhism, came, came about in the 1400s. And his message was, um, you know, to love humanity, basically. So throughout Gurnan Devji's life, he had two best friends. Yeah. He had Bala and Mardana. Bala was Hindu, Mardana was Muslim. And they traveled the whole of the Middle East. They went down, down to Rome. Yeah. Um, you know, the message to the Pope there was end slavery. So this is, we're talking 1400s here. Wow. And, um, you know, he didn't say to Bala, you need to become a Sikh and then you'll get to God. And he didn't turn around to Mardana and say, you know, you need to become a Sikh and, you know, you'll get to God. Yeah. He said, you need to be a good Hindu and you need to be a good Muslim. Mm. And we need to love each other and help each other on the path but not interfere in each other's paths, mm. but assist each other. Yeah. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji, you know, one of, his, one of the points that he really uh, emphasized was on love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, if you can't love your neighbor, you cannot. It's impossible to love God. Okay, so loving your neighbor can be quite difficult. I can understand that mm. because sometimes you have a row with your neighbor. Mm. But imagine, he, Guru Nanak Dev Ji took it a step forward. He said, once you've learned to love your neighbor, then you've got to learn to love your enemy. Mm. Because God resides within everybody, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, if you love your enemy, technically, it means you haven't got no enemies. Yeah. You know? So, so uh, the, the, world, the world becomes a yeah. lot more peaceful. Yeah. We've got spring rolls. We've got custard. We've got custard. Very sambal. Wow. We've got pasta. We've got roti rolls. Okay. And then we've got yogurt. We've got drink, soft drink, water, and then we've got chocolate tea. And then we've got in the bag. Basically, we made a couple of bags. In there, we've got fruit. We've got some fruit. We've got some chocolate. Um, and pocket biscuits. Wow. It seems you've got to know a lot of people out there. You've been coming here a long time. Yeah, we've been here. Here we are. And, uh, you know, we, 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 the first day we came, see, the whole project started off in Southall. Because we found homeless people in Southall. We were expected of zero agents. Mm -hmm. So we helped them. And then between 2009 to 2012, we kind of like shrunk the situation in Southall down. But in between, we built such a resource. We didn't want to, you know, we didn't want to phone up people and say we don't need your donation. Anymore. We want to carry on. Not only carry on, we want to expand the project. Yeah. So we came to London. We found homeless people. We found that this over here, they kind of gather and they wait for hand dance. Wow. So the first day we came was on Friday. We came on Friday. There was a church giving that food, wow. and the church felt a little bit intimidated. They were. That, you know, they were saying that you know we we, we come and do our work here on uh, Fridays. Yeah. Um, we said, look, we're not here to take anything away from you. We're not here to take your server from you. Yeah. We'll we come on another day. So we asked the homeless people. We said, what days yeah. do you want us to commit to? Uh, they said nobody wants to come out on a Sunday night. Monday wow. mornings is um, work for everybody. We said, right, that's that's our duty now. We will be here. Wow. Rain, shine. It's snowing now. No, yeah, it's snowing, yeah. So, yeah, every Sunday. Wow. So, we built up a massive network. You know, we've got big organisations that help us. You know, starting with Twitch Airways, Europe, Up Park, New Look. Um, we've got Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda. Um, yeah, they all donate. GSK, oh, drop us, um, GSK, drop us by the pallet note. Because the thing is, when when they when they see what we do and yeah. how we do it, and yeah. it's a totally it's a non-profit organisation. Yeah. Nobody's paid. Yeah. Fun, everyone's a volunteer. Yeah. No better organisation to give to because it actually reaches where we where we're going to say it's going yeah. to get to. Yeah. Hi, my name's Randy Lal. We're here uh, on the Strand with the SWAT van with the SWAT team. We've just fed, I think, nearly 300 people. The reason why I do this is, for me, it puts me in touch with my faith, 
puts me in touch with my faith. It teaches, my faith teaches me to do this. So that's my biggest reason why I do this. And um, to serve humanity, to show compassion to others, not to judge. I'm following you, Randeep, from the day one we start this work. Uh, and I think uh, that makes me good, uh, make me proud to be a Sikh. Uh, what we do, what Guru Nanak uh, said to us to do, uh, what he started like 500 years ago, uh, about Langar, and I think that's why we're trying to follow it, I think, hopefully. We can do that. My name is Gurjeet Singh Barmra. Um, the reason I'm helping up with SWAT for the past year is that um, I think it's something to give back to the community. But um, as mentioned by some of the other pre previous people, it's about compassion, it's about building relationships, and it's about making a real difference to, the, to those. And as Randeep said, it's about learning not to judge people, making sure that they're not invisible and being able to give something back. I've been doing um, SWAT by thanks of Randy, who's introduced me to this for about a year and a half now. Really, really enjoy it. It's all about, like Cavill said, um, giving back to the community and just remembering that we're all equal and nobody is higher than another. Um, and it's all about helping everybody. My name is Simi Bama. I'm from Pakistan. My faith teaches me to be to serve others and this is one of the reasons why I do it because it gives me the opportunity to help anybody that I can that I come across. We don't judge, we don't look at caste, creed, we just help whoever we can in whatever way we can. Hello, my name is Kanwal Nawal um, and I've been doing this for about six months now. The reason why I started to, to do volunteering work with SWAT is because I saw the work that they do over the media and it's good to help those that are as fortunate as you. Um, it's a cold winter's night here in January. It's snowing. It's snowing in fact. Um, it's very cold and you can, you can see the, the, the people that are out here and they need food, they need clothing um, and I don't know how they survive. Thank you very much. Hi, right, it's me again. Um, something came to my mind. Our 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh. And he said, Manas ki jaad sabi ekke pachanbo, which means recognize the human race as one. So this message is always stuck in my mind. Our organization, not only do we try and live by this message, but even our volunteers, we're open to all, you know. Um, I'm going to now pass you over to AJ, who's going to say a Randy, few words. I just wanted to thank you guys, I wanted to thank all of you for doing such amazing work. I came across some of your videos on uh, Facebook and uh, it, it made me realise how much uh, how much good you're actually doing. And I happened to be in the area last week on a Sunday uh, and I saw your van I, and I immediately came to my mind, these are the guys I've seen on, on Facebook. And so I just had to come out here and hopefully use what I have to try and make a few videos and show other people the amazing things you guys are doing. I firmly believe in, um, so many people say they want to change the world and do so many great things in the world. Uh, I think that if everybody started on their own doorstep, then the world would be a great place. And you guys are clearly, clearly living by that. And I think it's uh, remarkable and amazing in, in a, a diverse culture that we're living in today, where so many cultures are, um, let's say, um, uh, some are against each other, and some are this, and some are that, and you guys are looking at, uh, completely beyond that and saying, you know what, we're, we're, we're there for humanity. Uh, whoever comes on our doorstep and is the first of all, you guys are help, uh, we'll be there for them. So well done to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope to come out with you guys again. Yeah, no, no, no. You know what? I just wanted to say, you know, when, I, when AJ first contacted us, um, I thought, you know what, it's just another guy who's playing this trumpet yeah. that I want to help. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, he's actually turned up, he's actually made the effort, he's come, and then, you know, he's such a humble guy. I've not known him for long, but one thing I've known is that you're very humble. Thank you. Uh, and, and, you know, you're, he's kind of playing himself down a lot. So, I, I'd just like to thank God for sending him to us to, to help us in, in our cause. So thank you, AJ. No problem. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you.